Hello, my name is Suzanne and I am going to be showing you a couple projects that I had worked on a couple years ago. Um, these were kits of the months that Lisa Bernson um, offered and these are the file folders um, and they're kind of home decor pieces. And this one I made about my adoption. I was actually adopted at six months um, from Korea to um, a small town in Athol, Massachusetts. So this is my Korean name. Um, Shoal He Paki becomes Suzanne McKay, and that's who I am now. And I put some letter stickers here that says daughter and orphan and some binder clips. Um, and these are rub-ons. And I used a magnetic closure here. I think they're by um, Basic Gray. Um, and I used some brads and some ribbon and it kind of twirls and this one's well this one said beautiful on it with some um, stickers but I lost a couple letters but this I'm gonna have to redo but this one says beautiful on the back um, I did have a vellum um, journaling here but I took it off because I wanted to change it so I have to redo this but this is a nice little journaling spot and on the side here um, is another place where you can put um, words or pictures. I didn't do anything with that. So you open it up. And on this side, I scanned my passport when I was adopted as a little baby. That's me. Um, so this is my Korean passport with a picture. I used um, a clip with a flower that I just folded in half. And I put the um, rub-ons and stickers. This is the journey begins. And there's that back side of the clip. Here I took, I um, was born in 1977. And it says, the great escape from Korea to, f to my final destination, America, where, where I will join the McKay family. I will one day call these two people mom and dad. And this is the actual photo of the plane that I arrived on that I actually didn't make a copy of, which I regret, but I didn't make a copy of it. So this is the original. All these photos are the originals. And these are my parents holding me for the very first time. Um, and a little chipboard, blessed, grateful, half, happy, content, joyful, thankful, that came with a kit. And I used um, some more ribbons and brads, a ribbon down here. And I used some, um, a large sticker see-through sticker that has definitions of precious, miracle, beautiful, birthday, future, cherub, angel, and beautiful. Um, another binder clip. Again, these are the original photographs. And this is the second, por third portion of it. And this saying I got by Russell Keffler. It says, you are who you are for a reason. You're part of an intricate plan. You're a precious and perfect, unique design called God's special woman or man. You look like you look for a reason. Our, gar our gar God made no mistake. He knit you together within the womb. You're just what he wanted to make. The parents you had were the ones he chose. And no matter how you may feel, they were custom designed with God's plan in mind. And they bear the master's seal. Know that trauma you faced was not easy, and God wept that it hurt you so, but it was allowed to shape your heart so that into his likeness you'd grow. You are who you are for a reason. You've been formed by the master's rod. You are who you are, beloved, because there is a God. And this um, actually came from, I can't remember the book, um, but I will type it in the um, description. And I use um, a flourish sticker. And I have a little clip here, decorative clip. And here I put, this was my foster, my foster mother in Korea. And that's me as a baby. Look how fat I was, but that's me. And I mounted it on two pieces of cardstock that I had distressed and some more stickers from the kit. And here um, is my pre-flight report that I had actually scanned and printed on photo paper it just tells my date uh, my name my date of birth who my adopted family is and when I left 
was July 15th, 1977, and which airport I was flying into, and some details of um, my physical condition and things. So I thought that was a nice little addition. So basically it kind of sits up anywhere you want, um, but I have been using it as a background drop when I do my videos. But that's one of my projects that I'd worked on a couple years ago. And you set it up anywhere you want, but I like to keep it like this and then people can open it and then view it all. So there's one project. And from the same file folder kit, I made a second project. And this is um, a trifold. And some pictures of me and my family when I was younger. There's my mom, me, and my sister Kim, and me and my dog, my mother, let's see, my mother, me, and my sister Kim, and on each of these little green cardstock strips I put little numbers, um, and they have descriptions of when the pictures were taken, and I used a little chipboard word memories, and I tore this and distressed it. And for the pictures that are no numbers, that there's not enough room for journaling, I did put numbers on them. So this is eight, and eight corresponds to over here what it is. And this is all grown up, and this is me when I turned 30. All grown up. At 30, I've learned with a question mark. And some more pictures. These are chipboard letters. Some more ribbon. All the paper came with a collection of the kit. And it says, um, this is an acetate overlay. It says, all of us. Some more chipboard words and a family. More pictures. My brother, Scott. Me, my sister Kim, and my sister Lori. Me and my sister Kim. And the four of us again. Again, I... The top piece I tore distressed um, with some Tim Holtz distressing ink. When you flip it over, it says, it's okay to have a drink and relax, treasure the small things, enjoy the outdoors, to get away more often, and I just spelled out the word inspire and used some chipboard pieces. Um, in each of these sayings, I used a chipboard word. Okay, and this page on the back, it says just a few things I've learned and just some things that I've learned when I was, by the time I was 30, things that are, are important to me today. Um, but I won't read all those, but there's different sayings. And I typed these all out and printed them on cardstock. And this was um, my old scrapbook room. And it says, imagine, grow, and dream, all chipboard. And again, these are just pictures of my original scrapbook room. I'm not sure if you can see those. But basically, it doesn't matter. You can lay it out like this three, or then you can flip it if you want. Um, so basically, this is the second project that I had worked on. And these are all home decor pieces. They used to sit up in my apartment, but since I've moved, I haven't been able to send them up anywhere. But um, hopefully you like it. Thank you so much.